Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this video. This is my review of the SR40A5 by Raven. This is their Bolt series, Bolt series. Um, this is basically an entry level of their three categories, um, right up to Elite. Uh, so this, uh, this retails, uh, I believe from Raven at, uh, well, I'm not sure actually. I, I just know where I got it from. Anyway, here it is. Okay, what you're seeing here, uh, it didn't come with it. I actually did that. This has all been uh, bonded to the polymer, so this won't come undone. It won't uh, come un, un, uh, unscrewed accidentally. Even if these screws come off, these will not come off. You might have seen some of my earlier videos where it actually came with a uh, uh, low profile magazine. And I switched that low profile magazine with a banana clip here. That mock banana clip has also been uh, polymer bonded, so it is. Uh, it will not come off. Something that the Bolt series did not have was a rail right here. What it had was a, a uh, bipod mounting spot right here, and I didn't like it there. Um, I wanted it to have a little bit more of a, a tactical look, meaning a jauntier angle. And so I basically ended up uh, I ended up uh, modifying it. Now I've done static tests with it and roughly uh, out to about 50 yards and even probably even a little higher on windless days this is a uh, pinpoint accurate uh, I'm using heavier 30 gram BBs as opposed to uh, 28 gram BBs so if you were to use lighter BBs, it would definitely increase your uh, your range. But I'm sure it would affect your accuracy. The uh, it would get a little too light, and it would veer veer something terrible. Um, the bolt action basically is one of the best features of this gun. Uh, the sheer fact of the matter is you don't need gas and you don't need to charge anything. The magazines, I just load them up with about 20 because I don't want to strain the springs. I've had this for about two weeks and I've already broken one of these just because I've been using it so much. That's why I bought three to begin with. Um, these are uh, nice heavy pellets. Like I say, 50 yards out. Uh, pinpoint accuracy. Uh, if there's a little wind, I may have to walk, the, uh, walk it to the target. But it does the trick. Lot of fun. A lot of fun. I was able to take this out to my buddies 
uh, where you might have seen my earlier videos of the cow and the baby cow and this is uh, what I managed to take out there he's got a big farm and uh, was able to sight in my scope and um, sight in my scope as you can see I've also got a flashlight mounted on it that's a thousand lumen flashlight I would so so recommend this uh, this sniper rifle airsoft sniper rifle to anybody who's just looking to uh, for example plink um, I'm too getting a little too old and uh, whatnot out of shape to uh, actually go airsofting although with this I gotta tell you I would go and camp in the fort defend the flag whatever and uh, with this plunk away all day long it's got uh, rail mount up here for uh, for um, uh, laser sight it's also got the side rail as well which you can see I utilized a hop-up system let me show you this actually this is really neat right here that little uh, that little switch there is what gives this uh, incredible distance um, like I say uh, I was using only this much to get about 50 yard 50 yard distance and as you can see the slide itself actually goes up quite a bit more although uh, from what I've seen uh, and tried there's not a whole lot more further past this you can go before it's actually uh, spinning uh, rising each shot is rising way 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 too much but uh, there you go there you have it the Raven SR 40 a5 uh, beautiful beautiful little um, beautiful beautiful little sniper rifle um, one of the nicer airsoft uh, airsoft uh, sniper rifles I've had and uh, highly 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 recommend it you can't have enough fun with this and without having to charge and without having to green gas it or gas it every uh, every uh, few magazines uh, you're good to go all day long uh, I would recommend of course buying extra magazines don't overstrain your magazines they take around uh, I'm happy with 20 20 per magazine doesn't strain the springs again load up with extra mags and you'll be good whole game long all right that's it guys leave a note in the comments let me know what you think uh, about these the changes um, let me know what you think about the mag the uh, mag clip if it looks uh, if it looks pretty cool or not I think it gives it a carbine look all right thanks guys I will see you on the next video appreciate you guys tuning in um, it means a lot to me to get those views in and uh, check out some of my other videos uh, check out my uh, some of my other playlists and uh, like and subscribe thanks a lot guys see you on the next one